Ramadan Natifu TV The areas relate to green growth and the blue economy in the context of addressing the climate crisis and economic diversification. And specifically, I would like to entice our Chinese brothers and sisters and other investors to work with us to hasten the transition towards the use of clean cooking technologies and waste management and be able to turn it into productive use in order to curb environmental carnage and abandon the use of charcoal and wood for cooking. Another potential area for investment is the exploitation of the blue economy resources in the Indian Ocean as well as the Great Lakes of Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, Nyasa, Rukwa and others. And the embedded opportunities include fisheries and processing, mining exploration underwater, beach and marine tourism, as well as transport, uh, transportation. I call upon smart investment in developing Tanzania's coastal areas and islands so as to benefit from the blue economy with environmental conservation at heart. I can confidently assure Chinese investors and all other investors in Tanzania that Tanzania is ready for business and the Samia administration is firmly committed to make Tanzania one of the most attractive investment destinations in our region. The current administration has put a lot of emphasis on strengthening institutions of governance to guarantee the rule of law and the safety of local and foreign investment. Furthermore, Tanzania has continued to undertake investments in physical infrastructure, notably power supply, including the Julius Nyerere Hydroelectric Power Project, which is expected to generate 2,115 megawatts upon completion. But we also have the gas-powered Kinyerezi thermal plant, which generates 390 megawatts, as well as the Rusumo hydropower project, which generates about 80 megawatts. Concurrently, the government has expanded the capacity of Dar es Salaam, Tanga, and Mutuara ports, as well as the Kuala Dry port, in order to support operations and decongest the Dar es Salaam port. The government has concession the operations of the Dar es Salaam port to DP World of the UAE in order to improve port efficiency. And another transformative project is the construction of the standard gauge railway from Dar es Salaam to the lake port of Mwanza via Dodoma, our administrative capital. The standard gauge railway will subsequently be extended westward to Musongata and Gitega in Burundi and Kindu in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And this will allow for exploitation of lithium and nickel deposits in Burundi as well as other minerals in that, op in that part of the world and facilitate transport of other cargo to and from the port of Dar es Salaam. Ramadan. Natifu TV. Ya shukran al-Qur'an.